Welcome back everyone to another Fast Meal Prep hack. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a vegan mac and cheese, all right? Thanksgiving is almost here, and you know how great vegan mac and cheese is. And this is actually one of my favorite dishes that I love to make because when it came to Thanksgiving, this is something that I always looked for. And when I went vegan, there was no more mac and cheese until now. So let me go ahead and show you these ingredients. So first thing you need is at least a tablespoon of olive oil. We got some garlic. We got some liquid aminos by Bragg's. Also some nutritional yeast by Bragg's. And some of the benefits with nutritional yeast is that nutritional yeast has tons of B vitamins, okay? And it's also a great source of protein and it's gonna give you that cheesy taste, all right? We also got two cups of unsweetened almond milk. We got some shells, okay? And the shells is by Banza. This is a chickpea-based uh, noodle, all right? And the package actually looks just like this. And the benefits of using chickpea noodle is that first, it's very high in protein. So just how it shows in the box, your average pasta, which is probably made from wheat, right? You're probably going to get an average of 13 grams of protein. With Banza, you're going to get about 23 grams of protein as well. The same goes with the fiber. You get a lot more fiber and also less net carbs. And it's gluten-free as well, all right? Gluten-free and non-GMO. And then the last thing is diet cheese. Now, this is a mixture blend. This is the package that I got right here. This is the cheddar mozzarella style. Um, so with this one, and you can see they have their own version of their mac, mac and cheese here. So you, you all know that you can't just make meat, vegan mac and cheese with one cheese, you have to mix it up, you know what I mean? But this is a great cheese alternative that you can use, uh, especially if you're lactose intolerant or you wanna go vegan and try something that's very good, all right? And I'm, I'm telling you the truth, when it comes to this ingredient, none of your family members will ever know the difference, all right? Now, when starting this dish, first thing you wanna do is have some hot water getting ready to boil, all right? You wanna have it at a rolling boil. So what I do is I don't cover it completely. I keep it open just like that. If you cover it, it will spill over, all right? So have a little opening there. Then what we're gonna do is take our olive oil and put it into the water. Now the reason we add olive oil is because it's gonna keep the noodles from sticking once we start that boil, okay? Once we start boiling it. Also, one last thing I forgot to add and we're going to go right here is just a dash of, of salt. Just like that. Go ahead and cover it again. And while that's reaching up to a, a boil, let's go ahead and grab some of the things that we're going to add in. So we're going to go ahead and add in our noodles. We're just going to check it up. You can see it's reaching to that boil right now. Perfect time. And we're going to go ahead and add it in. Just like that. All right. Once you add it in, go ahead and start mixing it together. Just like that. And again, keep it open. Now, what I'm going to do is wait for it to reach to a, a boil. And then once it gets to that boil, I'm going to uh, reduce the heat to medium and then let it sit for the next seven to 10 minutes, okay? All right, y'all, so the noodles is ready to go. So it looks just like that, all right? They're nice and soft. And if you wanna test them out, you can use a fork, blow it out and try it. I mean, I could tell from just looking at it that they're nice and soft. And it's already been past uh, seven, seven to 10 minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and add everything here. So we're gonna do this just to, Get all the water out. Right. We're going to place it right back into the pot. All right. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients inside the pot. So we're going to go ahead and grab our diet cheese, our garlic, a little bit of the soy sauce, nutritional yeast, and uh, almond milk. 
Now we're going to go ahead and place the heat on low and then just slowly mix it together until everything melts. All right, y'all, so that is it. So what we're gonna do is once I mixed everything together, I blend, I let it, uh, I just stir it up just a tad bit until everything started to melt. Once it started to melt, then let it cool. You wanna let it cool for about like two minutes, two, three minutes, so it can get really thick, okay? And then after that, you wanna go ahead and transfer everything into a serving dish. So since it's Thanksgiving, go ahead and pour it in a nice dish like that. And look how much, how, how cheesy it is. It's really cheesy. If you're a cheese lover, you'll definitely love this dish. Look at that. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and try this vegan mac and cheese. So it's here right there. Let's get a small bite of that. Mm, mm, mm. This is really good. Very cheesy. It is delicious. And I'm telling you, your family members and your friends will love it too. But with that said, this is how you make a vegan mac and cheese. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, comment, and share it down below. It would really help if you do share the love because how the Instagram algorithms are, the more you share and the more you comment, the further reach this video will get and that would be truly appreciated if you can do that. Also, uh, when it comes to the recipes, also the macronutrients, that will be down below in the description box. But again, my name is Corinne Sutton. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon.